In the last video, we actually created a subtype that had to pass arguments to its supertype. In fact, we created two of them. Both the square and the mutable square needed to pass arguments. So square had to pass a width and a height to the rectangle above it. And the way that I did this might not actually be quite ideal. And in fact, there are some words of warning about this. A lot of times when you are passing arguments to the supertype, especially if they are values that will be remembered. So we have a val for the width, we have a val for the height. In this case, I've actually created another val for the length. Now, I could do that. There's, there's technically no problem with it. If I were to call this width, though, now I have some confusion because Square actually now has two widths, the one that it has here locally and the one that it's getting from the rectangle. So you definitely don't want to do that. In fact, probably better than making this length a val would have been to make length just an argument. And turns out that would be fine if I want the square to have a length. Okay, So this square right now does not store a length, but the rectangle stores a width and a height so that the if you get hold of a square like the one we created here, you could get to the square's length through either width or height. If I really wanted to have a member called length though, I could just do that. And now you can call length on the square, but it will use the width of the supertype. As a general rule, a lot of times when you're passing through things to the supertype, whatever that argument is in the subtype probably shouldn't be a val or a var. And the reason is because it's probably a val or a var in the supertype. Now if it's not, well, that changes things. But if it's a val or a var in the supertype, you probably don't need to remember it in the subtype as well. You should do something else. I've had a lot of students kind of mess this up where they have a supertype that has, for example, an x and a y in it. And then they make the subtype have an x and a y. And sometimes they actually call them slightly different names. So they have four different variables. And then they wind up mutating one and using another. And it can lead to a lot of confusion. So if you're passing something through, like in the case of length here, my recommendation is you don't make it a val or a var. And for the most part, you don't use it in the subtype at all. And in fact, if I'm going to make that an argument there, I would get rid of the def that I had there. Okay, so that's just a quick word of warning on passing arguments into supertypes and how they should be handled in the subtypes.